Hello guys, welcome back to yet another episode and in today's lesson we are on lesson number 8 and we are going to look into something, a new concept called channels. So channels is uh, just kind of it's a continuation of trend lines, whatever we just uh, uh, looked into in lesson number 7. So I will be introducing you uh, how you can get to use channel in order to understand how the market gets to move and how you can get to predict which, the, which way the market has potential to, to unfold so that I get to make some money or get to trade in that direction. But we, before we get into that, if you're new to the channel, I'll just request to just go ahead and make sure you hit the subscribe button which is just below here so that uh, you'll be part of this community and of course uh, every time I get to release a new lesson uh, you always be the first one to be uh, notified and of course we get to grow as a team so uh, after you're done doing that I'll just request you also to smash that like button for me if you found the video, if you find the lessons educated and if you're learning something new and also if you need any clarity you can just go ahead talk to me on the comment section or just join our WhatsApp group whereby we share uh, ideas as well as uh, uh, analysis so uh, back to our today's uh, uh, concept so basically with channels as I said it's just a more advanced con uh, concept which gets to combine trend lines so we have different types let me start by producing types of channels so uh, uh, the same case with the trend line we talked of our uh, uptrend uptrend channels uptrend uh, uptrend trend lines so for this case we also have uptrend channels that's number one number two we also have downtrend we have downtrend channels and also we have number three we have sideways sideways or ranging or it's also called ranging it's called ranging channels so for this case uh, uh, with the uptrend as the name goes these are channels which which show that the market is heading in an upward direction and for the case of the trend trend uh, downtrend channels they get to show that the market is uh, more of it's in a downtrend and it's moving downwards as well as you also have the ranging or the sideways channel so I'll be showing you how I get to uh, take advantage of these and how also I get to identify uh, for instance an uptrend or a downtrend channel or a channel which is uh, uh, in sideways so let's start with the uptrend uptrend channel so let's start with the uptrend channel so with the uptrend channels Uh, this whereby you realize, uh, for instance, as he was speaking about uptrend yesterday with the trend lines. So, for instance, you can see the market, this market, this particular market is in an uptrend. It's in an up, we normally call term it as it's, it's bullish, meaning it's going up. So, for this case, you might realize if you get to draw a trend line on the lower side, you say a valid trend line is the one that touches two, mod, two, two places. So for instance, if you get to draw, let me just for instance, this for illustration purposes. So let's say for instance, you get to draw a trend line on the lower side of the market like that. And then it happens that uh, you get also to draw another trend line on the upper side. So for instance, like this one, if you get to draw through trend lines and you realize the market is in kind of, it's in a pipe, I would say channel consider it to be a pipe. It's kind of, it's in a pipe. It's the market is moving. In a specific uh, a pipe like it's a uh, two parallel trend lines so there's how you can get to take advantage of this and you get to realize how where you can get your entry positions for instance like for this case if uh, let me just uh, work this one right here so for instance in a situation like this one you have realized every time the market gets to touch the trend line it gets to move to the other trend line so for this case you can just wait for the market to hit this spot then after it gets to come to this spot, since uh, we normally trade with the trend, this market is an uptrend. So I wouldn't recommend you to trade from uh, here going downwards since you will be going against the trend. I would recommend you wait for the market to come and touch the trend line, the lower trend line. So you place your trade in the upward direction. So for this case, your entry should be here. Entry point should be here. Of course, you place your stop loss. This is the place whereby you place your stop loss. So, uh, if you are totally new to about uh, about the stop loss, the end, the take profit spot, take profit, 
I'll be uh, introducing this concept as you get to move forward, but uh, uh, it's important for you to uh, understand this concept as you get to move, so it's important for you to pay uh, good attention. So for the take profit, I get to uh, anticipate the next spot we have the trend line continue, meaning once the market gets to touch the trend line on the lower side, we anticipate the market is going to go up. So, and since the market is in bullish or an uptrend, so it's advisable you get to look for entries once it gets to touch the trend line. The trend line on the lower side. This is the trend line on the lower side. So for this case, uh, you can see for this case here, you just need to look for candlestick patterns, which the candlestick patterns, patterns, if you not familiar with the candlestick pattern i've done a couple of lessons i guess it's lesson four and five about candlesticks so for this case right here you should be looking for candlestick pattern entry like a one of which is the bullish engulfing bullish engulfing we also have things such as the morning we have the morning star we also have things like uh we have the hammer these are and also uh, I'll be introducing you another concept which is called chart patterns which uh, we have something like uh, we could see a double bottom so for this case double bottom so for this case if you get to see any of these at this spot right here you have a go ahead just get into the market and of course you get to buy hopefully that's a concept you have understood when it comes to uptrend channels let's look into down downtrend channels so let's look into downtrend downtrend channels. So uh, basically the downtrend channel is the opposite the downtrend channel. Uh, the downtrend channel is the opposite. This one uh, consider a pipe going down. I would refer to as the channel as a pipe. So for this case, we are anticipating the market is moving in a lower di in the direction of uh, uh, going down that is we normally call it uh, the market is in a bearish movement so the market is making new lower lows so the market is making new lower lows we have new lower lows and lower highs these are the lower highs so it's important for you to understand this and when you get to draw two trend lines you get to draw well, let's just turn one this point and this point like that this trend line trend line one and of course let's just draw another trend line right here on the lower side so this trend line this is trend line two if you have realized this uh the market is kind of it's in a pipe going downwards so and since the market is in a downtrend so we'll be looking uh, for selling opportunities and for that case you don't trade against the trend so it's very very important for you to understand that don't trade from here going up since the market is in the downtrend we always make sure you get to understand this always trade with the trend with the trend always trade with the trend it's very very important for you to trade with the trend so for this case we are in a downtrend so it's important for you to always look for selling opportunities and of course you don't look for selling opportunities here you look for selling opportunities at the trend line one going downwards so for instance like for this case uh let me just uh, uh let me just uh for this case we just wait for the market to go back to the trend line one and right here we look for selling opportunities since we are anticipating the market is going to go down so for this case, this will be our entry point. This will be our entry point. So we get to draw like that. So these are stop loss. You place your stop loss right there. Your stop loss right there. These are our entry point. And of course, here we have our TP, our take profit. So it's important for you to make sure you get to understand that. Once it gets to touch the trend line, the trend line one, we are anticipating the market is going to unfold downward since we are still on a downtrend. We are still on a downtrend. So it's important for you to be selling. Uh, for this case, you'll be looking for selling opportunities. So for this case, uh, another thing you need also to understand is that uh, here we have uh, those confluences that you get to look into. One of which uh, you get to look for bearish engulfing candle. It's called bearish engulfing candle candle two you might look for shooting star 
uh, these are the candlesticks these are the candlesticks these are concepts we already handled on our, on our lesson I guess it's lesson 6 and lesson 5 so we look for shooting star uh, the, the shooting star we also look in, we look for uh, the evening star have the evening star so uh, number 4 uh, there's another concept I'll be introducing you uh, as you get to proceed further you could be looking for a double top so these these are concepts that I'll be introducing you as we get to move forward. So if you get to see any of these right here, so these are very good entry position for you to sell downwards. So hopefully that's a concept that you have understood when it comes to downtrend channels. So now let's look into a third channel type, uh, which is our sideways. For sideways, these are this is something that I've realized mostly it normally happens on Fridays afternoon. And uh, it's not a very good uh, spot for you to, 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 to trade, like for my case, depending on my strategy. So we are speaking of sideways or ranging channels. So for this case, it's when the market is not either, it's not, uh, it's not either uptrend, it's not either uptrend, nor no downtrend it's just there so for this case you realize the market is just moving in just one direction so for this case if you get to join uh if you get to join this point and you get to join this point for instance like that and then let's choose this one and this one you get to draw another trend line this is trend line one we have trend line two two so for this case, you realize the market every time it gets to touch this trend line, it's going up. If it's coming to this uh, to this spot, it's coming back. So this is not a very good uh, spot for you to trade, and it's not even recommended since you might realize at some point the market might decide it comes to this point and it gets to go up while you are just anticipating to sell at this point. Or the market can choose to come here. It gets to hit this spot, break, and then goes down. So you can see you might be looking for selling for a buying opportunity here. So you might find yourself getting into losses. So it's not a very good uh, position for you to just go ahead and get to uh, to sell or even buy. So for the side sideways ranging channels, it's not even recommended uh, for you to trade. I've realized this one. It normally happens in most cases. Most cases happens on Friday afternoon afternoon especially if you don't have any news no news so you might realize the market is just uh it's just running in between two trend lines so that's for the case of the sideways or ranging mark uh, arranging channels hopefully these are concepts that i'll be introducing you more into the charts as we get to move forward so long as you pay attention and get to make follow-up of these lessons so that uh, this concept you can get to uh, incorporate all of them and you come up with your own strategy to really milk good money from the market. So uh, hopefully you have found some value in this lesson and uh, hopefully you have already hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell and of course go ahead and share this video with a friend. That's it for today and of course I'll be looking forward to seeing you in our next episode. Peace.